Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? There's a law on our side if I say I. No. No, sir, I do not bite my thumb at you, sir. But I bite my thumb, sir. Do you quarrel, sir? Quarrel, sir? No, sir. Have at thee, coward! <laughs> Who sought this ancient quarrel new abroach? Speak, nephew, were you here when it began? And if you be not of the house of Montagues, I pray you, come across a cup of wine with us. Go thither, and with unattainted eye, compare her face with some that I shall show, and I will make thee think thy swan a crow. <laughs> where is that girl? What? Juliet! And now who calls? Your mother! Madam, I am here. What is your will? This is the matter. Nurse, leave us a while. We must talk in secret. Oh, nurse, come back again. I'd love be rough with you. Be rough with love! I dreamt a dream tonight. And so did I. Well? Is yours. That dreamers often lie. In bed asleep, while they do dream things true. Oh, then I see Queen Mab then with you. This is she! Peace! <laughs> peace, Mercutio, peace. Thou talkest of nothing. True. I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain, begot of nothing but vain fantasy. Did my heart love till now? Forswear its sight, for I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. Thus from my lips, by thine my sin is purged. Then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from my lips? O oh, trespass sweetly urged. Give me my sin again. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak of this? Madam! I come, anon! But if thou meanest not, well, I do beseech thee. Madam! By and by, I come! <laughs> Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. When I were sleep, and peace so sweet to rest. I'll tell thee as we pass, but this I pray. Thou consent to marry us. Hey. Holy St. Francis. <laughs> oh, let us hence. I stand on sudden haste. Wisely and slow, they stumble that run fast. What says he of our marriage? What of that? Oh, how my head aches. What a head have I. It beats as if it would fall in 20 pieces. My back! Oh. oh, come, dishonorable, vile submission! Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? Ah. Gentlemen, for shame, for fairness, outrage! Tybalt, for Chuchio, the prince expressly has forbidden this band in the heroic streets! A plague of both your houses! Why the devil keep you between us? I was hurt under your arm! I thought all for the best.
bear hence these bodies and attend our will. Mercy but murderers pardoning those that kill. Hold thy desperate hand! Hast thou slain Tybalt? And wilt thou slay thyself and slay thy lady that in thy life lives by doing damned hate upon thyself? Believe me, love, it was the nightingale. It was the lark, the herald of the morn. No nightingale. Wife, we had scarce thought us blessed. That God hath lent us but this only child, but now I see this one is one too much, and that we have a curse in having her. God in heaven bless her! You are to blame, my lord, to rate her so! Methinks I see my cousin's ghost, seeking out Romeo that did spit his body out upon a rapier's point. Stay, Tybalt, stay! Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. I drink to thee. The county has set up his rest that you must rest but little. <laughs> Come, is the bride ready to go to church? Your looks are pale and wild, and do import some misadventure. Hush! Thou art deceived. Leave me and do the thing I bid thee do. Put this in any liquid thing you will, and drink it off. And if you had the strength of twenty men, it would dispatch you straight. Who bear my letter then to Romeo? Oh, I could not send it. Uh, here it is again. I know get a messenger to bring it thee. So fearful were they of infection. Or wanting that with tears distilled by moans. The obscurities that I for thee will keep. Nightly shall be destroyed thy grave. Wilt thou provoke me? Then have that the boy. are quick. Thus with a kiss, I die. Come, go. Good Juliet, I dare no longer stay. Go, get thee hence, for I will not away. Oh, happy dagger, this is thy sheet. There rust, and let me die. She awakes, and I entreated her, come forth, but she, too desperate, would not go with me. Glooming peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show his head. Go hence to have more talk of these sad things. Some shall be pardoned, and some punished. For never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. <laughs>